Okay, I'm outside of uh, Old Jumpers Hole Road. That Mount West listing just says Jumpers Hole. Got a lot of info from the tenant who's currently living here. He grew up around here and is good friends with the owner. It's the B&A Trail right there. Hello. So it shows a nice little area. There's a little boy watching me do this. Um, in terms of a rehab, I got a lot of info from the owner, or the guy who lives here. A, I found out that the owner owes 135, or basically at 135 he's breaking even. He took out a, a loan to purchase another home. Um, apparently this used to be a shed, and it was updated into a house over the years. Um, the only heat source right now is right here. It's like a gas stove. You can see the opening right there. The owner told me it's not really enough to heat the house though. It's only enough to really I think he said it's built for a 12 by 12 room, so we need new heating. The hot water heater is new though. Um, there is some water coming in, and it's they had someone come in and say that it's off the siding over here, so they're going to be replacing or repairing the siding to stop the water from coming in. What else? Apparently the owner did a lot of the work himself over the years, he and his family. The property is, so that's where the water is coming in, right up here. I'm going to be repairing it. Um, so it's a nice yard, I'm just trying to show you the roof. It's probably towards the end of its life, the roof. We have these two sheds here. What I found out is that these people recently purchased this house next door, but apparently the property line for the house that I'm currently looking at goes all the way back to the pool and actually goes into about a foot and a half of this person's house. But somehow they were able to close on it, so they made some sort of arrangement and have to give the documentation because part of this property line is on that house next door. See, the siding's a little messed up over here, too. Apparently, there's access in the kitchen to get to the crawl space. The so, crawl space basement. Got some nice big sheds. So, I love the location, but the house itself, it's like 7710. I think it's, it needs a decent amount of work. Um, Okay, I'm going to go in, just so you know there is the current tenant living here. Okay, I'm coming on in. Oh, uh, okay. So, this is the kitchen. Yes, ma'am. The dishwasher is not working right now. No. But we have the stove right there and all that good stuff. So this is a closet back here. Refrigerator, dining room area, full bath with the washer and dryer in it. Okay. The washer, bathtub. It pretty much has laminate all around it, even the walls, sort of like uh, 7710 where I live, the bathroom was the same exact walls. Okay. Living room, this is the heating source over here, a gas stove, got a little porch over here. There's the first bedroom. The electric panel looks like it's been updated at least. I think it was updated recently. Um, this one's probably, I don't know, like 8 by 10 maybe. Uh, something else that's unique about this house is the bedrooms don't actually have closets in them. 
So there is a big long closet straight ahead with the mirrors and that's the only closet. I was expecting to see five extraordinary And then here is the other bedroom. For him to give you this design. Two weeks. Two weeks. So two weeks. I don't know what this one is. I'm bad at estimating, but did you tell him? I'm gonna go with like twelve by nine maybe. And this is where there's some mold coming in. You could see through the sheetrock, so that would have to be repaired. Okay. 